Hello everybody, I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader, and today I wanted to do a small video to explain the very basics of what is the stock market. And I will follow this video with other videos about how to invest, which stocks to pick, and so on. So, what is the stock market? You might have heard about the stock market and you would like to understand it a little bit more. You came to the right place. We are going to look at that together. Let's start with an example. Let's say that you create a company to make and serve cupcakes. When you create a company, you decide the number of shares it will have. This is an arbitrary number. You can say my company is going to have one share, five shares, a thousand shares, a million shares. You decide exactly how many shares the company will have. And you will, of course, own all of them because you create this company. Let's say that you decide to create 1000 shares for your company. And as the owner and the founder, you own all of these shares. So you own a thousand shares in your company. What exactly are shares? So shares are only pieces of your company. So you decide how many pieces your company will have. And you, of course, decide who is going to own these pieces. In the example right now, you have 1,000 shares of your company. So you own all of the pieces of your company. You own 100% of your company. Let's say that your brother is helping you a lot in managing this company and you want to give him a piece of your company. You decide to sell him 200 shares in your company. You will now own 800 shares in your company and your brother will own 200 shares in the company. So you will own 80% of the shares and he will own 20% of the shares. As a comparison, there are 1.155 billion shares of Tesla out there on the stock market in stock exchanges that you can purchase. Elon Musk owns approximately 25% of those shares. And if I own 100 shares of Tesla, I own a very small percentage of the company, but it's nice to understand that I actually own a small part of Tesla, a hundred shares of Tesla. So a hundred parts of Tesla. Let's now say that your cupcake company is doing really well and that you want to expand across the whole United States and you will need money to do that. So you can take out a loan to finance this expansion, or you might want to sell some of your shares on the stock market. The stock market is a broad term, but basically stock exchanges are places where anybody can buy shares of companies listed on those stock exchanges. So to take your company public, you need to list your company in one of these exchanges. Then it's going to become a public company because the public can buy the shares that you make available to them. Some examples of stock exchanges are NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange. We have the Toronto Stock Exchange in Canada and, and the Australian Stock Exchange in Australia. For your company to become listed on an exchange, it will need to have a certain size in terms of revenues. It will need to report its profit and losses every quarter. Because once the shares of your company are listed on a stock exchange, the public will need to know more about your company in order to decide if they want to buy the shares in your company. The first time a company becomes public or lists its shares on a stock exchange, this is called an IPO, an initial public offering, because this is the first time company makes its shares available to the public to be bought and sold. So how can you buy those shares that are listed on stock exchanges? You need a brokerage account. You can ask your bank if they offer brokerage account, or you can open a brokerage account through companies like E-Trade, Charles Schwab, Robinhood, and so on. When shares are listed on a stock exchange, the public can buy or sell these shares without talking with the actual owners or shareholders. These shares are just listed there and 
the only thing that is required is that these people have a brokerage account and the broker that they are going to choose is entitled to buy and sell shares on the stock market on the behalf of their client. Once you have a brokerage account, then comes the difficult decision, which company's stock you should buy and when should you buy them. So this is what we are going to talk about in the next video, how to invest in the stock market. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member, click on my TradingView affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great day and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.